Welcome to this sheet metal tutorial guys. In this video I will explain you how to model this hopper in SOLIDWORKS and this is the flattened form of this hopper. So let's begin. Click on part and click OK and then select your top plane click on sketch. From here select a center rectangle and make a rectangle at this origin and now change the background to plain white from here and after that select smart dimensioning tool to define it here specify the length of this line as 3110 and the same on this side there is another way let me delete it first and let me drag it so that you can see it hold the control button from your keyboard select these two lines and make relation equal so in this way we do not have to specify the length of the other line and here you can see the sketch is fully defined you can do it when the length of both lines are equal now from here enable the weldments tab and from here you can see the weldments tab is enabled select structural member from here here in this standard we need to select ISO and we need C channel as type and from here we need 120 by 12 as size in this group window we need to select all of these four lines C channel is going to be created when we select each of this line so it will take some processing time and when we have selected all of these let me show you this is basically C channel which is created and these are different types of joints that we can apply so for our case the first type is good we can go with it and here you can see this blue line is our sketch line if we want this yellow colored material downside we can select a mirror profile and from here you can see there are two options horizontal and vertical axis this is basically the orientation of the C channel so in our case the horizontal axis is fine which is the inside when you check this box from here it will get created and from here you can change the background to plain white and now we do not have to do anything with the sketch so you can select this sketch from here or from here and hide it and then select this face from here and click on sketch and now from here select corner rectangle this time from this point to this point make a corner rectangle and now select offset entities tool from here when you select this line from here you need to specify 32 and from here make sure that this is outward from here you can select when you uncheck the reverse it will be outward now exit the sketch from here and let me show you how you can enable the sheet metal tab when you click here this is the sheet metal tab and from here you can select the base flange option and specify the thickness of the plate I want the hopper thickness to be 6 mm so I have specified here 6 mm and here you can see there is no material so right click here and edit feature let me show you the problem here the material is inside but we want the material definitely outside when you check this box from here and now we can see the material definitely and now select here edge flange and now we have to select the four edges just click here anywhere in the space we will define the length later we need to select these four edges this is the second one it will take some processing time third one and the fourth one and now we need to specify some parameters the direction is also wrong so how to change it let me show you here is the option for the direction from here you can make it correct and here you need to specify the length of these walls of the hopper so I have specified 2040 as length and from here you need to specify the angle right now you can see this is a box like shape and when you specify the angle as 53 degree here you can see this is the hopper like shape that is created from here 
we need to specify the thickness of the plate and i have specified 6 mm as thickness of the upper plate when you check this box from here and here is the shape for the upper now we have to create the flange on top of here so before that we need to make a plane in this reference geometry select a plane in this window we need to select this edge and in this window we need to select the other side of the edge and a plane like this which is intersecting both of these edges will be created we want this plane when you check this box from here and now select this plane and click on sketch and after that select here center rectangle and make it a center rectangle like this and now hold the control key from your keyboard select these two line make relation equal now we need to specify the length of only one line and that is 760 millimeter sketch is fully defined go to feature select extruded boss base from here and here define the thickness of the plate which is 6 millimeter make sure that the direction is outward from here you can see the direction should be on uh, outward check this box from here and now we need to cut this plate so select this and select this face and click on sketch from here make a corner rectangle from this edge to this edge and now simply select extruded cut and cut it through all so uh, now hide this plane because there is no use of this plane and this is our hopper and we can uh, flatten it only the hopper sheet will get flattened let me show you this is the hopper sheet that will get flattened when we select this flatten option so that's how we create hopper in solidworks